What is up, everybody? This is Ryback Stun. We have returned to Marvel Heroes. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new hero to hit Marvel Heroes, and his name is Black Bolt. This is my most anticipated character of AP3. I've been a big Black Bolt fan for years. Jonathan Hickman did a really good job of writing him during the, uh, the Fantastic Four FF run of comics. So, here he is, Inhuman King, all kinds of cool stuff. Let's start off right from the beginning. Currently, he's sitting with team, ins uh, team insignia affiliations of Avengers and S.H.I.E.L.D. He has, as his hero synergy, movement speed and critical hit rating multiplier. Let me turn these off. I know you guys don't care about this crap, but I just need to get it done so that you guys can see the base of all these different things. And then he's got... We'll reset those later. He's got two trees, Scion of Adelan and Inhuman Conduits. Three ta uh, traits... For him, Terrigen Augmentation, which gives him critical damage, as well as his archetype is Blaster, Energy Fighting, so prep for that gear. His uh, resource trait is Energy Manipulator. His primary resource is called Energy. Generate energy with some power, spend it with others, rapidly drains when you're out of combat. You also have Inhuman Constitution as his defensive trait, which gives him Defense, Deflect, and the because he's a melee combatant, damage reduction by 8%. So, let's slot some of these powers really quick. We'll go through... Oh, that's not right. A, S, D, F, Q, E. We'll go through each tree individually, and then we'll show off as much as we can right off the bat. So, Black Bolt being uh, melee and ranged, he also has physical and energy damage attacks. So, close combat, basic melee generator. He does physical damage, da increased damage versus slowed enemies, medium attack speed, and regenerates 5% of your maximum energy per hit. There's your basic thing. No! Quake, how dare you. Um, anyway, we have Inhuman Shockwave, which is an energy damage area around you, which weakens. It has a three-second attack speed and a 24.4 energy cost, so we'll generate our energy here really quick. And then you can see that's one attack. You could do it multiple times, and he just launches energy around him. Next, we have Split the Sky, physical damage. This is your melee area physical vulnerability applicator six second cooldown it's neat it's a crash down basically about a boom wait turn it um swooping strikes does physical damage you are invulnerable while the power is active it restores 20 percent of your maximum energy and it's an eight second cooldown this is your arachnid ass assault style power boom, boom 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 next we have regal mandate this does physical damage for 10 hits you have 50 percent damage reduction while this power is active it restores 15 percent of your maximum energy and has an eight second cooldown Basically, dash, pop behind the character, do 10 attacks, bada boom. Next, we have opening moves. Rush at your enemy, it does physical damage, uh, regenerates 5% of your maximum energy with a 4 second cooldown. Rush, smash, do that. And you're good. And last but not least in this tree, we have Quasi Sonic Barrier. Knocks back enemies. Quasi Sonic Barrier also causes you and your allies to become protected. Damage reduction for 6 seconds. It has an energy cost of 48.7 and a 12 second cooldown. So let's pump up some energy. And then. Uh, e. Boom. There you go. And it's a little it's a little area of effect that you can stand in. So that's quite neat. Next we have Inhuman Conduit. This is where you're going to find a lot of your powers that you're probably going to be using as the majority of your kit. So first we have our basic range generator, Quasi Sonic Bolt, energy damage, medium attack speed, restores 5% of your energy. Next we have Inhuman Speed, which is your dash, typical dash stuff, physical damage, uh, knockdown, all kinds of stuff. That is part of Quake. Sorry about that. And next, we have Quasi Sonic Blast. It does energy damage, attack speed of 4.0, and has energy cost of 17.5. So, this is your generator that you're going to use to generate these things. And then, this is the Quasi Sonic Blast with, again, Quake. She's an inhuman. She's part of the video. Next, we have Quasi Sonic Surge. Energy damage twice per second, 1% damage per 1% attack speed, energy cost of 58.5. So, we'll go ahead and do this. And this is your typical channeled beam attack going to do some damage as you fly in an area around you. Next, we have Quasi-Sonic Geyser, which is energy damage. It's your energy vault range to vulnerability applicator. Six second uh, duration, six second cooldown, 48.7 uh, energy cost. Drops it there. Neat little effect that you get based upon the things that you do. You also have Terrigen Breath. This is a ranged area generator. Energy damage around you. Enemies are pulled in. 10% of your maximum energy. Six second cooldown. Boom! extra damage. Now, this is one of my favorite powers in his kit. It is his signature. It is called Killing Word. With, but a, with but a mere whisper, your mighty voice decimates the surrounding area. Energy damage, 50% of your energy restored, 30 second cooldown. We're going to scope out just a little bit, not that much. 
And if you listen carefully... <sighs> couldn't hear much, but he does say stuff. And he says different things when he uses that power. So you get your, your big energy buff there. And that's, you know, predominantly Black Bolt's abilities. Now, for talents. Five tiers, three talents in each tier. Quasi-Sonic Reinforcement, while above 30% energy, restore health per second, and you get 5% total damage. If your energy is full through Power Overwhelming, you get total damage increased, attack speed increased, and energy cost reduction for five seconds, unaffected by power duration uh, with a 12-second cooldown. And then second win, while you're below 30% maximum health, your barrier activates automatically, restoring your energy uh, per second for six seconds with a 12-second cooldown, and this is also your revive. Tier 2, Fury of Adalam. Terrigen Breath cooldown is increased by two seconds. Its damage is also increased by 50%. And Regal Mandate's cooldown is refreshed when you use Terrigen Breath. It's a cool combo. Uh, all different kinds of things that are associated with that. Adalan Alacrity, Inhuman Speed, gains two additional charges. Opening Moves gains a physical dot for six seconds, but its cooldown is also increased by two seconds. And then Quasi-Sonic Surge transforms into Quasi-Sonic Torrent, which is a quick, massive beam that leaves enemies slowed. So if we gather some energy, we can quickly just... Blop! And it slows enemies. Four second duration, 12 second cooldown. Uh, next, we have Adelan Leadership, which Quasi Sonic Barrier turns into Adelan Leadership. And uh, Adelan Leadership damages nearby enemies, giving Black Bolt and his allies additional damage as well as movement speed. 48.7 movement cost, uh, energy cost, excuse me. And cooldown is 12 seconds. So you activate it, and it does the area around you. Next, we have uh, Razor Wind Wings. Swooping Strikes gains a 150% damage bonus, and it has an additional 50% increased size, but has 4 second cooldown increase, turning it into a 4 second, into a 12 second cooldown. Quasi Sonic Explosion turns Quasi Sonic Blast into Quasi Sonic Explosion. It's one large burst of energy around Black Bolt on a cooldown, slowing enemies. So it's going to have the same energy cost as Quasi-Sonic uh, Blast does, but it's one thing with an 8 second cooldown, and it slows enemies. Which is good, because you can use Quasi-Sonic Explosion with close combat to increase your damage against slowed enemies. Next we have the 4th tier, Quasi-Sonic Catharsis. Killing Ward instantly resets your cooldown of your non-signature powers. It also no longer restores energy and has a 10 second increased cooldown. By word and deed, Killing Word gains melee power damage, and for an 8 second duration, you also have an enemy weakened and enemy vulnerability for 8 seconds along the line of your melee power damage. And then Master Blow turns Killing Blow into Master Blow. Melee signature that hits a single target for massive damage and then radiates, radiates in a cone outside of the enemy. So you gotta be basically within base contact with an enemy, but when you use it, boom! Big old blast of energy as well as the big damage onto the main target. Last tier, we have True Attunement. Energy generates while in combat. So if you're in combat, you'll be able to generate energy in addition to all the other stuff you can do. Terrigen Echo. Opening moves turns into Terrigen Echo. And it's a ranged power that fires a bolt of energy that returns to Black Bolt, traveling a short distance that damages enemies both ways. Echo. Boom. Boom. And last but not least, we have Cosmic Confluence. Quasi-Sonic Geyser turns into Cosmic Confluence. It creates a tort underneath Black Bolt, damaging enemies over time, giving him bonus damage to melee powers, and regenerating his energy over time. No vulnerability when you use this, but it does restore your energy, and uh, it doesn't spend energy as well, and it has an area duration and cooldown of 6 seconds. So when you activate it, boom, and it increases your melee power damage, and you're also regaining energy as you fly in there. Now, all of those things give Black Bolt a fairly interesting kit. The last thing that we're going to show you before we show the ultimate is his flight. Pretty neat. Flies basically exactly the way you would see him in comics. All kinds of neat stuff there. Now, last, but most certainly not least, is our Inhuman King's ultimate called Royal Decree. It instantly destroys non-boss enemies. It does a high amount of damage to boss and mini-boss enemies, as well as energy damage for 8 seconds. It's a 3 second stun that's irresistible, and you have a 2 second invulnerability duration to be able to activate the ability with a 10 minute cooldown. As long as the energy blast is up, it will continuously delete non-boss enemies. And we show you now. In As you can see, these are constantly being deleted as they respawn. Probably the single best ultimate in this game. Single best. So, that's Black Bolt. Uh, there's uniques you can check out on the forums. I could show you now, but, I mean, it's... The forums will have a better detailed explanation of what they can do. 
He's really neat. Physical energy, ranged melee. There's going to be a lot of build options for him. But go ahead and head to Test Center to get your feedback heard for all these different things. Hope you like this video as much as I did showcasing it to you. Remember to like, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at RybackStun. We stream Monday through Fridays, 2, uh, 2 p.m. PST till about 4 or later, depending on how many people show up. Thank you very much for watching, folks. And with that, this is Ryback Stun, signing out.